My name is Kevin Mark Trell. I'm a singer songwriter, producer, uh, do a bit of film, photography, um, teach. I'm a creative, I'm an artist. I'm in love with you. In terms of the arts, it was um, a real turning point with school, really. Uh, and it was a teacher who was from New Zealand, Mr. Malam, who kind of, I was in a, in a, where was I? I was in a classroom maybe every lunchtime and I went in and was just rap, was writing raps, you know, at the time, just writing raps in the back of the class. And then he encouraged me to sing and then he realised I had a voice and then it went from there. Um, he helped me get my, Set, first set up, first set up Atari, learned some chords um, and he had a son the same age as me who was a guitarist so we started to move really and then it was at that point, you know, just before I left school that I decided that okay, I want to do music and it went on from there. What am I doing now? Okay, now I've just released an album called Free Eye which kind of encapsulated my experiences in Australia and New Zealand over the last three years where I, you know, I was able to get in touch with with the land, you know, see trees and nature for the first time, some of the tribal people in those places, um, and see the issues that we face, you know, just being outside of London for a minute and seeing, um, you know, I love London as a city, but as a land, you know, a land mass, I don't feel connected to it as like, as you would a beach. So when you wake up and you live in that environment, you have a, a very different love of a land and, and that's what I saw from tribal pe people and a different way of living. Um, and it was really, it re really educated me in just the, the different approaches to life um, and the horrors and the good and the bad within that. And so that's what Free Eyes kind of come out of my reflection on the two worlds, which I feel part of but now one is drawing me more than the other. There's 10 tracks on the album. Um, all n well, nine of them were written, you know, out there. So I lived, um, I lived in, in Australia, I lived on a nature reserve, which is about, well, next to a nature reserve on about 16 acres of land. So I'd wake up and I'd see, you know, koalas, joeys, pythons, spiders that big. Um, and just in nature really, um, which is really beautiful as a boy who's, you know, I'm, I'm from Wembley, you know, <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from Wembley. But um, yeah, there was, it was really magical. And as I said, I got to meet people from all walks of life and hear stories um, that were, hear horror stories, you know, about stuff that's happened in even places like Iraq and in Africa and uh, all over the world and hearing these stories outside of your environment as affirmation of, you know, what's going on. And the same in New Zealand, you know, it felt like almost like a rites of passage and within that a growth, you know, meeting elders, chiefs and, and everyday people um, definitely grew, grew me, I guess, as an artist and, and, and more importantly as a person. Uh, yeah, and becoming a father also at that time was also massive. So, um, yeah, loads of lessons, some that I'm still trying to make sense of and still writing about. But nine of us tried to born in that time. And then when I came back, um, and I'd been in London for a while, just before I put out the album, I wrote the last track, Morning Will Come. And I guess that was kind of like a... I'm back, you know, and, and kind of like holding a balance in this place. You know, like it's, it's, we're faced by a lot of things that to me don't make sense, which is why I find this environment hard. You know, like when you earn, when you're earning and you're working 40 hours a week, and you just can afford about to pay your rent and, and buy your food and, and do what you need to do. It's illogical for me. You know, it's, it doesn't make sense. So it's just seeing things like that without even going into the rest of it that, um, yeah, brought our song about and, and, and encapsulate the album, you know, the divisions between race, sex, culture, class, money, wealth, what we choose to promote as a people um, is what that this album is about. It's a solo album in terms of I produced it all. Um, I wrote all of the tracks um, and everything you, you hear on it, I played um, apart from two tracks um, which have an amazing film composer 
a guitarist and multi-instrumentalist from New Zealand called Joe Haynes, who I've done an album with as well. Um, and yeah, he guested on two of the tracks and I just sent them to him and he just, he let rip. But he's a, another person who, you know, I've really connected with as a musician and as a person. And a friend from mine, who um, Yahil, who's from here, he also sang on one of the tracks as well, um, towards the end, um, in, in his language, which is, you know, I kind of wanted that on that track because it's kind of worldy and a bit, you know, about this crazy world we live in. <laughs> so he helped kind of, I wanted something tribal on that. So other than that, it's me. The genre of music that the album is around, this is what I hate more than, you know, not hate, but it's like, I've always battled as an artist because I have a soulful voice. So in essence, I'm a soul singer. But I've been running away, I've kind of been, not running away from that because what I create is what I create. You know, my music is a reflection of my life. So, you know, some songs are acoustic guitar, some songs are done more dancey, with a little bit of hip hop or reggae or, but this album I'd say is quite eclectic. It does go into, the soulful side, and then it's electronic as well. There's a little bit of dance, drum, and bass. I mean, it's it's more like a a more kind of like approaching music as a movement now, you know, as a story and as a as a movement of of energy rather than placing myself in in, in boxes. Um, I'm kind of more just creating and and letting it make sense, and it feels a lot more. And it, even in the creative process, you know. I'm now like recording and that's it. Sometimes not even writing what I record, you know, I just play um, and react. And, and it feels a lot more natural instead of trying to shape this thing that, that isn't, um, that's more contract, that's more thought about. I say that, but obviously I've worked, I'm a writer. I've worked with many people. I write, I understand song structure, form, whatever. So there's a lot of things that already in my data bank as a, as a creator, but when I do it now, it's more intuitive when I have space to be that, because you can't be that with everyone, because everyone can't handle that, and not everyone's gonna like what you do. But I guess it's now for me f first, and then I shit, in a way, which might be arrogant, but <laughs> I'm not trying to be, <laughs> I'm trying to be genuine, that's right. The launch was cool. And the launch was a bigger release than I actually thought it was going to be because it's been something that I've been working on for the last three years and there's been many changes in my professional and personal life during that time. So definitely I didn't realise how much of a release it was just to have it out. Um, so it was amazing in that respect and it was, you know, in, in VFD, which is a small venue, but again, a place where I've done nights and there's a lot of love in that building. And a lot of people that I love came out, you know, and, and that was really intimate. And it was a nice way to start this process because in some ways people have never heard me do what I'm doing now. And, and I definitely know what's coming after they haven't heard. So it's, it's, a, it's a beginning for me, you know, as, as we're always beginning, but it's definitely a beginning and I feel like I'm like this even doing this interview is, is making sense of that and feels like a natural progression to the next step of what's coming. At the moment I'm touring with a crew called Solar Rossa. Um, I'm also probably later in the year going to be touring with a rapper called Doc Brown. He's also a comedian. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm planning a few dates for myself, but I guess uh, you know, with the album, I've, I've, there's some more videos to come out and there's some more, um, there's some foes and, and really just, um, I'm still formulating, which is the, you know, organic, almost organically forming later, and which is the best way to share it. And also like live wise, you know, I'm, I'm really looking at how I want to do that, you know, cause we're in an age where now you can have a band, you can have a, you can do a one man show and, and I'd, I'd like to be able to do all of that, but um, yeah, I'm gonna create space to to explore a few different avenues. I've got one show already lined up in the UK and another show that I've been asked to do in Germany. Um, so I'm just 
really taking my time with that because I'm doing a lot of other things. And, and for me, I guess, just because I've created a lot over the last few years, I want to I wanna release, you know, because when you release music, it's like, you're releasing an emotion and it's like, I, I'm, I'm no longer of a mindset that it should be sitting here, it should be sitting here. So I guess I'd like to continue releasing stuff and do shows alongside that, but um, make it more consistent, you know, more consistent for myself, you know, as an artist to be releasing the stuff that I'm, that I'm videoing, um, music I'm creating, photos, you know. I'm interested in having a world around each project that I do and not being afraid to move on to the next world and then coming back and touching on it when it feels right and including it in the repertoire that I already have. You know, as an artist, I know what inspired me. I, I think I definitely know what inspired me and first it was my teachers. You know, it was I went to work and it was the people there who gave me, because I was writing for like 15 when I was younger, and they gave me, the, and it was whack. John Mullen, you know, Rachel Bennett, Julie Dexter, Kevin Leo, you know, Celia Greenwood. You, you, you could go on. I mean, being involved in the streets as well. Um, Omar, I really liked Omar because he sounded himself. I was always into artists who, and I am still now, that hasn't changed, is like, I'm into artists who create their own world. And I'm not saying that the other is, is wrong or right, but that's who I am. You know, I'm, I'm about sounding like me. And I guess the main artist, which is, to some, would sound cliche, but was Bob. And, and that was the first, the first records I found was Kaya, and that was my, you know, playing on my mum's record player. And, and it, was, it was a message. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't and, and, it, and it's nothing else now. It's the message. It's that, it's that message of peace, love, unity, and, and facing, you know, facing with those issues that we're, we're still dealing with today. Um, and it was all the old kind of soul stuff and reggae stuff, you know, dance or, you know, I was into all of that and, and all my grand's old records as well. I teeth them. Um, and then now, you know, it, it hasn't, it's changed, you know, but Roots Maneuver is also a massive influence, but again, for the same reasons, because he's a UK cat doing his own thing, you know, and, I, and that's where I'm kind of at. And it goes on, you know, I can mention all the great, all the great soul singers, Stevie, Donny, you know, Halfway, you know, I have, I've had moments with, with a lot of people, um, and Modern as well, a little dragon I love. Um, there's loads of people, um, David Bowie, you know, Black Sabbath, you know, I can remember hearing War Pigs on the way to Big Day Out, a festival in Australia, and what that evoked for me, you know, like the lyrics of that song. Um, and, and I like pop too, you know, so it's, it's like, I'm not, I'm awake, I'd say as an artist. I'm just awake and, I, and, and I, I like the truth. Even if that's dark, I like it. For this album, um, the message, I'm gonna try and make it short, is love. You know, like, we've got issues and every, every, um, every society has issues. You know, every, every society has issues, but it's illogical to be fighting wars because of someone's race. It's illogical to be fighting wars because of someone's sex. It's illogical to kill when we don't need to kill. It's illogical that we don't feed each other. It's illogical. I feel like we borders to a certain degree. Wealth, monarchy, hierarchy. Yeah, we need an order and I don't have an answer to what that order is, but there's a lot of stuff that's going on today, even in this country that I have seen that doesn't make sense. Manners, fear, you know. I, 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 I urge people to, 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 to step beyond their differences and celebrate their similarities. That's easy. My favorite track on my album is called Gaia. Um, and that is my daughter's name. And that is about, um, I wrote that track when she was sleeping you know, in a room next to me, and I, and I recorded it at the same time, there and then, and finished it, there and then. And I'm very much like that, but that is my favorite track. People can find me on um, Facebook, Spotify, iTunes, um, all the Amazon, all the known kind of digital platforms. They can find me on my website, www.kevinmarkchild.co.uk. 
But I'm, you know, type my name into the internet and everything comes up. Best place to check would be online. Yeah, online, either on my website or my Facebook page, which is just, just my name, would be able to check there. I mean, I'm gigging, but I'm touring with other people at the moment. I'm touring probably until the end of the year, on and off. But again, you know, yeah, I'm kind of, I've got something in October. Check online. There's, I've got six music videos for this album. And literally, I took a camera with me um, and my partner at the time, we took a camera and we filmed. So the videos that um, we filmed are reflections of exactly what uh, went on at that time and families we stayed with, people that we met, uh, they have, you know, places we went. So it's very much more like a, a reflection of that rather than an honest projection, rather than okay, I'm going to make a music video for a song and it's going to be sexy and it's going to be ooh. It's like, this is life. This is what I lived. This is what I saw. And, I, and I'm more heading that way as an artist. You know, I, I'd love to go into communities and, and work with different people from around the world and literally capture what takes place and, and hear their stories. Hear it, hear Because that's, that's growth. Like, sitting and talking to a man is how you, is how you know them. It's how you learn yourself. So that's more where my heart and my head is heading. Advice, know yourself. Know yourself, you know, like, and understand that, you know, the music industry stands and the industry, artistic industry is crazy in some respects. You know, you're, the, the whole godism of it, you're special, you're above, you're, because you do this, you're suddenly above somebody else and there's a separation. But that somebody else has a life. You know, they have things that they have to do with. And I guess the only way that you can stay grounded and, and um, is to, to know self, is to keep your circle around you true, honest, and know self, know what's important. Your health, your family, and yeah, what you do. But don't let that be, I don't know, I'm not, this is just my experience. It's like, I wanna work with people who are cool. Sometimes you have to work with people who aren't and you have to manage, but it's about good energy, man. For me, it's just like, because imagine you're in a situation and you feel good and you create. How can you create something that's not good? Sometimes it comes out of bad, but I'm just about honesty, hard work, and, and don't be afraid to be you. Because reality, like, yeah, there's loads of people. And if you sound like Beyonce, then guess what? We already got Beyonce. But if you sound like you, and you're tangibly good at what you do, and you have talent, and, and that, doesn't, that doesn't mean you don't listen to criticism and feedback, and you don't grow, and you don't examine the world. But if you're you, then you're unique. And no one can mess with that, and you should stand strong in that. And it's balancing, you know, it's, it's forever a balance between what you do get involved in and what you don't get involved in. And, 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 and your ethos. And enjoy your life, man. Ain't that serious? Just enjoy your life. You know what? When people see me, if they want to understand and explain, they explain, but it's my life. These are my stories. These are, you know, everything has a story. Every, every, every song that you, you hear on that album, every lyric is not designed because it's this. It's, it's a story. And if you want to know the story, then find me, then seek me, then talk to me, you know, because I, I can sit here and, and talk for hours and I cannot actually express fully what I have lived, but I can share a demonstrate some of it. And these are, you know, I, I, I only mark my body if, if it feels, if I have a story or if it feels right, it's not something that I'm, and it's not, not no judgment for anyone else because it's, it's something that I've learned about and it means something to me yeah so it's very deep and and so but that's not for every it's not for everyone and, and that's what makes the world beautiful but um yeah there are their stories my family my beliefs my experiences my place my, my mana my magic <laughs> or well, my spirituality, whatever you want to call it, it's that.
free. I 